Now that you've mounted a lighting fixture or accessory on your right arm, it's time to apply power and data to the unit. On the right arm, comes standard, four pieces of cable come out of the top of the unit. Two are for power and two are for data. Let's talk about the DMX first. Off the top of the unit, there's two cables, a male and female five pin DMX cable. That'll supply data to the unit from your lighting control console and also allow you to daisy chain additional fixtures along the pipe or truss. First thing I'll do here is grab a DMX, standard DMX five pin cable from my control console and plug it in up here. Next two cables are the power cables. First one I'll talk about is the cable that would supply power to your accessory mounted on the right arm. That accessory can be a lighting fixture, it can be a projector, it can be a camera or anything else that you would need to power up. In this case we have an ellipsoidal spotlight with the scroller attached. We're going to power this spotlight via the local dimmer on your truss on your piece of pipe. The cable connectors I'm using is an Edison connector but in, the, in a shipping case or shipping situation the right arm will come with no connectors attached and you're able to put on your connector of choice. We would plug it into our local dimmer at the top. The unit or the cable will run through the unit and come out at the bottom and this is where you would plug in your lighting fixture. The next cable supplied is the power for the right arm. It's very important that this is landed into a full-time power source. You would not want to plug the right arm into any kind of a dimmable source and it's marked here on the cable, do not dim. This will supply full-time power for the, light, for the right arm and you can use anywhere from 90 volts AC all the way up to 260 and the right arm is auto sensing so you can just plug it in, it will sense the voltage and power up. Last piece of cabling we'll have to do if you have an accessory on your ellipsoidal or on your PAR or anything else that needs to be have a four pin power supply data and power to it the right arm comes with a built in four pin supply. There's two outlets here. I'll plug in our scroller. It goes in that end, the male end. As we spin the unit around I have yet to apply power to the right arm. We'll plug the female end here into our unit. Our accessory on the ellipsoidal spotlight will now have power whether that accessory is a scroller you could put a rotator or a DMX iris. One more pro step in the process is to address the lighting fixture or the right arm. You have your typical three address points for DMX 512 you would address it at your starting address that you have set from your lighting control console. In this case I'm using starting address number one. Just below the DMX addressing is the mode switch. The right arm is a unique fixture that allows you to set nine different modes of operation. When we say modes of operation we mean pan and tilt. You can limit the pan and tilt from 90 degrees pan and tilt all the way up to 340 degrees pan, 270 degrees tilt. If you have a, a camera on there or um, something sensitive that you would not want to pan and tilt in long degrees, you can limit that via this switch. Now we're ready to apply power to our unit and let it go through its calibration process. During the calibration process, the right arm will do a short pan and tilt so it can find its home position. And in this case, home position is a 50% 50 50 pan and a 0% tilt. And now your right arm has power, data, and is ready for programming.